Does the Sheikh in the masjid need to know you sin? The answer is no. And this is why the issue of an Imam in the front, we choose someone who can recite correctly and who has a decent reputation from amongst us. And we are allowed to be led by a large number who qualify for that particular post, subhanallah. But it does not mean that we have worshipped that Imam or we have used him as a medium to get to Allah. No, we have a direct link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not feel too dirty to call out to your maker because that is the devil making you feel unclean when you are pure. Do not feel too low to call out to the Almighty. Do not feel like you have engaged in too many sins to be worthy of the mercy of your maker. That is the devil grabbing hold of you. Don't allow that. Never. You are never a right off. Not at all. There is always mercy. And do you know, you need to call out to your maker alone. Subhanallah. Distinguishing point of Islam. Another very, very interesting point. When we engage in what we term as Salah five times a day, certain type of prayer in a specific language, which is different from the supplication, which can be in any language. Supplication is a dua that can be translated as prayer as well. And that can be in any language. But when it comes to the Salah, it is in a specific language. Do you know what you are doing? Subhanallah, you are putting your head down on the ground for who? Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Glory be, praise be to my Rabb. What is the meaning of Rabb? The one who made me. Allahu Akbar. The one who made me. My head is on the ground for you, O oh my maker. O oh my nourisher, O oh my provider, O oh you who is in control of my existence. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Your head is on the ground for whom? Not for Moses, not for Jesus, not for Muhammad, not for Aaron, not for David, not for Solomon, not for Abraham, not for Adam. May peace be upon them all. We respect them. We have raised them to the level they belong to, but we do not engage in worship. We do not engage in worship for them. The worship is for Allah alone. This is why the Prophet Abraham makes it loud and clear. And the statement is repeated for Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهِ لا شريك له وبذلك أمرت وأنا أول المسلمين. Say that my prayer belongs to Allah, my sacrifice belongs to Allah, my life belongs to Allah, my death belongs to Allah, the one who created entire creation the lord of the worlds the one who made me my life belongs to him my death belongs to him my worship belongs to him alone my sacrifice belongs to him alone that is islam subhanallah that is islam what a distinguishing point this is why i say people are turning to islam by the purity of islam Yet shaitan comes to the Muslims to create impurities within what they had that was pure. Allahu Akbar. We need to constantly be in touch with the devil's plan and make sure that we know how to counter plan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. Really. You do not know the roads that evil can attack you from. You may be attacked. If you do not know what your enemy is planning, you may be losers of that particular battle. But when you know and you've understood, this is why Allah explains the devil, who he is, what the problem was. Why is he jealous of you? Why does he hate you so much? What is he trying to do? All this is explained in the revelation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. What a beautiful point. Then we have the detailed rules and regulations of every aspect of my life. That is Islam. We say it is more a way of life 
than a religion. Islam is more a way of life than a religion because today we are seated here, mashallah. Some are wearing yellow, some are wearing green, some are wearing pink, some are wearing orange, some are wearing purple, some are wearing blue, brother, with white writing. I remember that as well. Some, mashallah, are wearing stripes, some are wearing dots, some are wearing this color and that color. We are all Muslimin. And every one of us is governed by a framework. Subhanallah. I don't see any nudity here. I don't see anything prohibited here. So we are all engaged in something that we know is within the limits of what the Almighty has taught us. How beautiful that is. He did not say Muslims should wear blue. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Imagine if that was the case, there would be a shortage of blue. Maybe the sky would have to change color. Sorry, I just realized I'm putting on blue. Allahu Akbar. I only picked that up after I said it, don't worry. And you have to believe me. The point being raised is, Allah says, enjoy the colors of the world. We may prohibit upon you certain aspects or certain tints and so on, depending on your gender and what have you. But you can enjoy what the world has to offer within the limits that we have set. Amazing. Amazing. Subhanallah. The same would apply. Today people have motor vehicles. They have, mashallah, helicopters. They have aircraft. We have so many different types of transport. We have so much in terms of shoes. Now you have shoes with little wheels on that move electrically. No more. When I was small, you know, we used to push them and move and mashallah, skate, so to speak. But no, today electric. You have a little... Uh, what they call a Zuta scooter. That Zuta scooter is no longer manual. You just press a button and it moves. So someone might say, Bida, haram. Relax. Take it easy. That is not an act of worship that is direct. If it was a direct act of worship, the statement would be correct and valid. Any direct act of worship that was not taught or done, we stay away from. But this is just a means. It's something within what Allah has allowed. So inshallah, you use the Zuta scooter and get your children to also enjoy it and go out jet skiing in Penang and don't worry, call me and I'll join you as well. <laughs> Notice I said Penang because I've been to Langkawi already. My brothers and sisters, what a beautiful country. Look at what we have, the infrastructure. Look at the lights, look at the technology. Make use of it. This is Islam. Islam did not prohibit the beauty of the world except a certain list. And this is why we believe al-aslu fil ashya'i al 